Good afternoon, I'm Kristen Feigl. And I'm Greg Dorada, and this is Wolfpack News for Tuesday, September 16th, 2014. The homecoming dance is October 11th. Any student planning to attend with a guest who is not an OE student must turn in a guest pass to the Dean's Office. Guest passes can be found in the Dean's Office or online and must be turned in by October 1st, no exceptions. The United States Congress has designated this week as Arts and Education Week. During the week, you will see artists, musicians, and actors performing during lunch periods. If you're wearing a fine arts t-shirt or sweatshirt, you will be entered to win a prize. Also, stop in by the LRC and correctly guess the pieces of visual art displayed to have your names entered for a chance to win a prize. Interact Club's first meeting is after school Thursday in the staff lounge. If you're interested in community service and getting service hours, then Interact is the club for you. The LRC is waiving all book fees this entire week. The LRC is looking for all their missing books, so please return them to their home. If you wish to pay your book fee from the previous year, it will be 50% off. Mosaic's next meeting is this Thursday after school in F231. Anyone interested to join us, welcome to attend. There will be a free snack and drink. Aurora East High School is hosting the National Hispanic College Fair on Wednesday, October 1st from 9 to 10, 20 a.m. There will be more than 50 colleges and universities represented. Go down to soon services for more information. The PSAT will be offered here at East on Saturday, October 18th. The PSAT is an optional test. If you'd like to sign up, to go to Student Services. The test fee is only $20. Rocapa National Social Studies Honor Society applications are due to Ms. Kairos or Ms. Davies by this Wednesday. Any sophomores interested in being a part of the sophomore class committee should come to the first meeting today after school in E392. Bring ideas for a t-shirt design for class color day during homecoming week. Contact Mrs. Knudsen with questions. The first League of United Latin American Citizens meeting is this Wednesday after school in J107. If you have any questions, see J Joe Sanchez or Daisy Oseguera. At the beginning of the school year, students are getting used to a new routine and making new friends. This can sometimes result in feeling out of place. According to NoBullying.com, one in three students in America claims Hate Free at OE is a club here at OE that helps students prevent bullying and take a stand against it. Mr. Sweeney is one of the founders and shares his advice. One way to prevent bullying is just to ensure that all students are aware that bullying does, does occur. Students who have been bullied should definitely tell somebody about it. It doesn't have to be a teacher, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, you know, your parents, but just tell someone. If it's, if it's, if it's a friend who can speak on your behalf, because it, if it, it's getting out of hand, then you want to let somebody know. It's important for everyone at OE to educate themselves against bullying and spread kindness throughout the school. Seniors with a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher are eligible for National Honor Society membership. Download the necess necessary forms from Ms. Calvi's website or see Ms. Calvi in English Department office with any questions. Teacher recommendations and the interest inventory are due no later than Friday, October 3rd. Mu Alpha Theta is accepting new members. In order to join, you need to have a math GPA of 3.7 or higher as well as completed Algebra 2 or Algebra 2 honors. If you qualify, please pick up an application outside the math office in E380. Applications are due by September 29th. See Ms. Knudsen or Ms. Gossett with any questions. The Future Educators Association is also looking for members. FEA is a group that is open to any student who is interested in becoming a teacher or working with children. Sign up with Mrs. Van Wee and turn in the early dues. All grade levels are invited to attend college visits through the end of September for Iowa, Westland, Ferris State, Yale, U of I, Robert Morris, Marquette, Kent State, and Truman University. See Mrs. Weber in the College and Career Center to sign up. The Broadcast Club will meet today after school in B156. Please bring your contract and club fee. Talk leadership applications are available for pickup in student services. Visit student services with any questions. And now it's time for sports. Here's Miranda. Girls varsity swimming and diving crushed the competition this past Saturday at the Lincoln Way Invitational. The Oswego team participated in a variety of relays and won against 10 other teams. Great job, girls. That's the latest in sports. Now back to the anchor desk. And finally, juniors and seniors who want to per, per, pursue a degree in the healthcare field can get an experience at Ms. Dr. Rubin's Mini Medical School in January 2015. If interested, fill out an application in student services and turn in by October 10th. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Kristen Feigl. And I'm Greg Dorado. Join, again, join us again tomorrow on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.
When the world was designed with this and that I was young, didn't know to hold it back Now we're here in the world something else We could leave any day and call for help We were gods, nobody was above me The A on my chest like a dolce The A on my chest, put your fist up The A on my chest like a chipmunk